All right, John Oaks here. Uh, we're here at Hangster's Hot Rods here in our new building, uh, Homer City, PA. And today we've got for you, obviously, another new addition to our inventory. This being a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, and it is SS styled. Um, it's got some of the styling cues, just not a real SS though. Uh, we hesitate to use the word, word clones or tributes. Um, because everybody takes a little bit different meaning to those words. So we just say SS style here in our case. So again, here we are underneath the car to start with, uh, working from the back to the front. Uh, so right here we've got obviously a nice, uh, looks to be a, a newer uh, stock fuel tank back here, painted up black. You can see the mounting hardware too, that looks to be all fairly new. The straps, the nuts and bolts and everything that holds it all up in place there, all looks to be in really good shape. Um, from what I can see underneath here from the bottom, trunk floors look to be good and solid. Um, I don't see any patching um, from what I can see right here. Um, obviously we'll take a look when we go inside of the trunk too and show you the trunk from the inside as well. Uh, but as far as rear driveline components go back here, uh, we'll just kind of work our way across side to side. Um, what we have here, we've got uh, all the tires. Tread looks to be all new on the tires. Um, so real good tread. Um, we've got 215 70R15s on the back. Um, so that's your tire size. Inside of these wheels, now these are uh, factory steel rally wheels, 15 inch and they do have beauty rings and the center caps all on them. Um, now inside of our rally wheels, as far as stopping power for the rear of the car, we've got uh, drum brakes back here. We've got a GM 10 bolt rear end here. Now this is what they call the big 10. You can tell that because of these big lugs that hang down off the side of the rear housing which signifies that it's an eight and a half inch ring gear inside. So you either had an 8.2 or an 8.5. This is the 8.5, a little bigger, a little stronger there for your rear differential. Um, as far as rear suspension, we've got mono leaf rear suspension. They've got the ladder bar or the traction bars hooked up down here there. That's gonna you know, help prevent a little bit of wheel hop if you decide to get on it a little bit. As far as shocks goes, we've got a set of air shocks here. So you can adjust your ride height a little bit by just adding or taking out a little bit of air in those shocks. Uh, and then the other thing that we see from the back side here would be the exhaust. We see that it's got tailpipes out the rear, as it should, uh, coming out here right between the leaf spring and the quarter panel. Again, that was a stock location. They go up and over top of the rear housing. And then you can see the dual exhaust run up to the front. We've got these two dual Flowmaster mufflers, so it gives it a nice throaty sound. Here we are now under the center of our 67 Camaro SS style. So now we can take a look, better look at uh, the floor pans, uh, the subframe rails here that we can see, um, transmission, exhaust, stuff like that. Um, so again, what we first stated there, the floor pans, they look to be in really good shape. You can see here, um, all solid. They've got all the stampings in them, so they're you know the right, correct uh, metal for the floors. Not sure if they've been replaced. Uh, everything looks really good back here, so if they did, they did full pans in it, uh, not just sectioned it. So again, and that's on both sides the whole way up through. Um, it does look like they may have uh, maybe you know done a little patch up in the the very corner of the foot box. But again, it's all the right metal. It's still got the stampings in it. So they did it correctly with the correct metal. Um, you can also see that exhaust better now. So you see how nice all the pipes are here. Again, it's not old stuff. It's all fairly new equipment here. Again, it's got the H pipe or the crossover pipe here to equalize the exhaust as it goes out the, the two mufflers and tailpipes. Those are dual Flowmaster mufflers too, so it's gonna give it a nice deep throaty sound. Again, everybody knows that the Flowmaster mufflers, real good mufflers there to go with. Uh, again, you see the front part of the rear end there, we've already mentioned that. So again, you've got the big 10, uh, 10 bolt there, GM rear end there. Uh, and as far as the transmission goes, again, it's a manual transmission, Muncie M21 four speed manual. Um, it's got the, uh, looks like an aluminum bell housing here. 
It does have the flywheel cover on the front of it. So again, we always try to make sure all of our cars have that good safety feature to keep any dirt or debris away from that fly mill or flywheel from chipping a tooth or you know causing any kind of premature malfunction on that. Uh, so again, flywheel cover is intact. Um, the transmission cross member, it's in really good shape here. Nice and straight, not bent up, not dinged up. The actual tail shaft mount here is in real good shape too. Mounting hardware, the bolts for it, those are in good condition as well. Um, it's got the long tube headers. Um, I think I probably stated that earlier, but we're seeing it here now. So long tube headers into the dual exhaust. Um, it's got a just a regular full-size starter on it. Um, everything works good. And then the other thing that we can take a look at real quick here from this angle is going to be the steering components. Um, so our tie rods here, ball joints on both sides, both tie rods, and the little rubber dust boots here are all intact and in good condition. They're not cracked or torn, all intact. That way it keeps the grease in, keeps dirt and debris out so the ball joints stay good. Looks like everything's been maintained too. You can see that they have been greased. Um, so again, keeps all the steering components in working order. Drag length, the pitman arm, everything in good shape here. Um, and then you can see kind of like the backside of some of the front suspension here too, stock stamp components. So, and now we finally made it to the uh, front end of our 67 Camaro SS style here. So again, what we'll do here is work our way across from side to side and show you exactly what it is that you're looking at here. So first and foremost are the tires. Again, all new tread here on the tires. These are 215 65R15 size tires on 15 inch steel rally wheels with the beauty rings and the center caps all in good condition. Inside of those 15 inch rally wheels, We've got drum brakes up front. Uh, as you, if you remember, we had drums on the back as well, so four-wheel drum brake car. All of your suspension components on this vehicle are all stock components. Um, so up front here, again, your lower control arms, the upper A arms up in there, um, that's all stock stamped steel components. Uh, even the front spindle, that's all stock components for this vehicle. Um, that does have a sway bar on it, so again, that's going to help with handling, connecting the two sides together there. Um, the bushings on the sway bar end links, bushings on the frame mounts for the sway bar are all good. They're not cracked, so they're in good condition, maintained, and are, you know, they should be uh, functional and sound. Um, as far as the cross member goes, you can see the cross member is really straight in this car. Uh, hasn't been, you know, hit on anything. Uh, uh, and as far as the front cross member here too, that's in good condition. So again, that's your stamp component here, not banged up. Then your main cross member here, that's in real, sh uh, real straight condition too as well. And again, just all the same stuff on the other side. So uh, other things that I can see underneath here uh, as we have it up in the air, um, the front section of the frame here, again, we've already stated about the, uh, the subframe rails back there being nice, straight, and uh, square back there. The front frame rails, same thing, nice and straight and square up here. So again, you know, nothing's ever been done to the front end or any of the, the frame section of this car. Uh, it's got a uh, stock style uh, radiator in it. I can see that here from underneath with the fan shroud. And it's also got the black front air dam on the car as well. Um, so that's that's really about it. Uh, that's all to go over underneath here. We'll go ahead now, lower it down. We'll take you around the outside, inside, in the trunk, under the hood, and then we'll go ahead and fire it up. That way you get to hear what it sounds like. All right, now we have our 67 Camaro uh, SS style down off of the lift for you. So again, we're gonna take you around the outside to show you a little bit about it. Um, go inside, under the hood, in the trunk, all that stuff there, just like we always do. So again, 67, so you'll notice that you do not have the side marker lights cut into the fenders. That's not how they were uh, back in 67, so this is correct. Uh, we've got these nice fenders here. Again, all the metal is good on this car. You've got the bright wheel lip ownings here, um, the uh, 215-65 or, or R15 tires on the front, 
15 inch steel rally wheels, factory rally wheels here on the car, all four corners with the beauty rings and the center caps. And you can see beauty rings and center caps are in real good shape, nicely polished up. This bright wheel look more is nice and polished up too. Uh, you got the Camaro emblem on the back side of the front fender, obviously. And then when you get back to your door here, you can check out the gaps here on the door front side and then on the back side. So not too awfully bad there on this car. A little bit more of a gap up front, but again, they probably did that just to make sure they had enough room whenever that door opens up so that it doesn't get into any of the paint or anything like that. Um, again, uh, elevations are good on the car too. Now we have mirrors here, uh, the bright, like the chrome mirrors, both sides, both the driver and passenger side, and these are just manually adjustable. No, uh, no uh, adjuster inside for the remote mirrors on this car. Didn't have them. And the wing window, that is correct for the 67. And the bright work around that wing window is in actually in really good shape. Bright drip rail moldings also, those are nicely polished up too and in good shape. They're not bent up or dinged in or anything like that. So again, nice condition on those drip rails. So we'll go ahead and open the door up for you real quick. Just to kind of show you a little bit on the door, the interior and everything here. Now again, we'll go more in depth with the interior as we get there, but this is just to show you. That same burgundy colored paint that's on the outside of the car, you see that follow through here on the inside of the door and on the threshold area here. Got the door sill plates in here. Those are in nice condition. The weather stripping also around the door, that looks to be fairly new. There's no cracks or tears or chunks out of it. All one piece and in good condition. Um, even the weather stripping up around the tops of the door here for, for your window seals, those are in good shape. Again, no cracks, tears, or chunks out of those either. So all good condition there. All black vinyl interior, just your standard interior. Got the center console in there, factory dash. Um, you've got seat belts up front too. So again, just kind of a stock interior, but again, in really good shape. The carpeting, the headliner, everything in good shape. So we'll close this up. And you can see it closes nice and easy. So again, just pretty good there as far as the door goes. Uh, that brings us back to our quarter panel. Again, the bright wheel lip molding is polished up nice. The 215 70R15s on the back here and again all the tread all four corners is like new on these the beauty rings and center caps in just as nice a condition on the back as what we find up front okay around the back end of our camera here 67 again ss style uh, now you can see the trunk lid the tail panel of the car the rear bumper so again starting here kind of at the top here the back windshield it's in good shape uh, see a little bit, you know, a couple little marks in it, but there's no chips in it, um, no cracks or anything like that. Just a few little tiny scratches. The uh, bright work around that, though, is in really good shape, polished up nice, all in good condition, no dents or dings or anything like that in the trim around the window. As far as the trunk lid goes, you can see how nice a condition that is. It's got the rear trunk spoiler on it got the silver Z stripes of one as they should be up over the spoiler rounded down here up over the deck lid and onto that rear uh, panel up here right below the rear glass so this is how it should be again the spoilers in good shape trunk lids in good shape the gaps the whole way around the trunk are really good elevations really good on this too so the trunk fitment real nice here Tail panel itself, again, the paint's nice on this. Uh, the tail light bezels on both sides look to be in really good shape, polished up. Then where they should be black in here, they are black. The tail light lenses and backup light lenses, those are in good condition as well. No chips, no cracks, nothing like that on either side of those lenses. You see it does have the SS gas cap here. So again, following through with the SS styling, they did that. Uh, and then a nicely polished up chrome rear bumper there. And then again, your lower balance. Now, when we were on the underside video, we mentioned that it had a set of air shocks on the rear of the car and where you will make your adjustments and fill those from. There's a little nozzle right down underneath the rear balance here. 
that's where you'll make those adjustments to the car there. Let's go ahead and open up the trunk now, show you inside. Trunk lock works real well there. The spring on the trunk holds the trunk up just like it should. The weather stripping around the trunk, that looks to be new. Um, so again, no cracks or tears or chunks out of that. So again, it should seal up just fine from the outside weather. Uh, the trunk itself looks to be all solid, all metal. Now, again, we just want to make sure you know everything about the car that we can tell you. It does look to have two little patches in it, but they were done in all metal and welded in. So again, they're done right. No fiberglass, nothing like that. It's all metal, all steel, welded in, seam sealed. Again, should not leak whatsoever for you on this car. So let's go ahead and close this up. Closes nice and easy, and you see that that is latched. So again, everything works as it should back here. Looks good, fits good back here too. Now that we're here on the passenger side, again, this will be real quick. Just the same as the other side, just kind of repeating ourselves here. So again, quarter panels in nice condition. You can look down the sides of this car, nice and straight down the sides. The paint's nice, smooth, and shiny again. Doesn't look to be any, uh, any you know, major imperfections in the paint. Not saying that you won't ever find a little tiny chip or something, but again, uh, all the body work and everything on the car has been done correct and looks good. So. Tire-wise, we've got 215.70s, R15 on the back. On those rally wheels, we have 15s on the back, 15s up front as well. The polished wheel lip molding is nice here. Uh, and again, you see the trim rings and the center caps. Those are real nice. Got the bright drip rail moldings, as we discussed on the other side. Those are in good condition. The trim and bright work around that wing window, that's in good condition too. And again, we already mentioned that it's got both driver and passenger side mirrors in good condition as well. The finish is nice on those. Again, passenger side door. Now we can check that gap here at elevation. Front to back, and it looks to be the same as what the other side was. So again, they're both adjusted about the same. Elevations are good on the doors. So again, as we did on the other side, we'll open this side up, take a look. Again, same burgundy paint as what's on the outside of the car. Weather stripping, again, appears to be new. No chips or no cracks, no tears or chunks out of it. Uh, the interior, again, we've already mentioned, all black, vinyl, front bucket seat, center console, four-speed shifter on the floor, all nice shape. Even the door jam U seals back here are in good shape, as well as the door jam, or the uh, threshold plates, uh, those are in nice shape as well. Uh, let's go ahead and close this back up. Then that side shuts nice too. We'll work our way back up here. Again, the front fender, the Camaro emblem here on the back side. You've got the top of the fender mount and the antenna there for the radio, the bright wheel and moldings, 15 inch wheels, beauty ring center caps, 215, 65, R15s up front. All right, and finally, we made our way 360 degrees around this car, and now we're here at the front end. So again, 67. So what differentiates this from a 68, basically, are your marker lights up here, or your parking lights, I should say. On the, your 67, you've got these round uh, parking lights. On the 68s, you'd have more of a, kind of like a rectangular oval type uh, light. But yeah, 67, this is the correct grill and lights for it. The bezels around the headlights, those are in real nice shape. The headlights themselves, just traditional sealed beam headlights. Again, no cracks or chips out of the lenses on those, those are nice. And your parking light lenses and bezels in good condition as well. Lenses, no cracks or chips in those. The front grill, very nice. All one piece, nothing busted out of it. It's all good and solid. It's got the SS350 emblem here right in the middle. Again, to go along with that SS styling. Nice, bright, polished chrome front bumper. And again, we mentioned on our underside video, you've got that black air dam underneath there to kind of help complete that look with the, uh, the aero effects on the car there. Now, as far as the hood goes, we've got a steel two-inch cowl induction hood here. 
and you can see how nice that fits. It's, it's steel, not fiberglass. You can look at the gaps up along the side here. That looks really good and is very uniform side to side and the whole way around the front and even across the back there. It, it's adjusted real nice. Got the Chevrolet Camaro emblems here on the header panel as well. And again, you see that silver stripe just to match up with the one on the trunk back there. Um, and those are done correct also. Let's go ahead and open our hood up now. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what's underneath here. First off, the underside of the hood. Looks like it's got all new insulation underneath here for the hood, which is good. It's tied up just as it should be with the correct fasteners all the way around. No, no pieces torn out of it, nothing hanging down. It's real nice under the, under the hood there. Again, as far as your inner fenders and your, uh, your cowl area back there, um, those are done in black as they should be. You've got the chrome fender uh, supports up here as well. And those are in good shape. They're not pitted at all. Got a uh, factory style radiator with the plastic fan shroud on this car as well to help with the cooling. Now, as far as the engine goes in this car, we've got a small block Chevy, 350 cubic inch motor in this car. We've got the uh, chrome air cleaner on it, ball mill aluminum valve covers, both with breathers in it. Uh, we've got an Edelbrock Performer RPM aluminum intake, along with an Edelbrock single feed four barrel carb, and that does have an electric choke on it as well. Uh, now this car has a bit of an updated uh, distributor in it. Uh, I believe when I checked this out, it had a Mallory distributor in it, and then it's got the MSD Blaster 2 coil in it. So again, it's gonna deliver a little bit better spark using that distributor and that coil setup. It's also got a set of JEGS 8.5 millimeter spark plug wires, so that'll help develop or help get your spark to the cylinder where it needs to be. Long tube headers, already discussed that on the underside video. It is a power steering car, however, it's a manual brake car though. So no power booster back there, it's manual brake, power steering, and heater lines are all hooked up on it. And as far as the fan goes, we've got a seven blade uh, clutch fan in here. So again, those clutch fans are nice. They'll engage while the car's sitting like at a dead stop or going very slow. And then it disengages while you're out driving on the highway and it lets the cool air just rush through the radiator on its own. So again, that's everything underneath the hood. Our next thing is we're gonna go inside the car, take a look at the interior, and then we'll fire this up. That way you get a chance to hear what this motor sounds like. All right, now that we're sitting here relaxing inside of our 67 Camaro SS Stop, we can check out how nice this interior is. Again, just your standard black vinyl interior here, bucket seats up front, got the all black door panels there. Again, the door panels are in excellent condition. Got all the accurate screws along the bottom to hold it down and anchor it to the door itself. Um, so that's all nice. Factory dash, factory dash pad. And this looks to probably be a new dash pad up on top. There's no cracks or tears. A lot of times if these cars have been left out in the sun, you'll get them kind of you know dried out and they'll crack. But this one looks to be all brand new and there's no cracks whatsoever in it. No discoloration either, perfect black in here. Um, now as far as the rest of the dash goes, we've got all factory instrumentation in here, so the 120 mile an hour speedo and the factory fuel gauge, okay, that's your gauges in here, factory instrumentation. You've got factory heater controls in here as well. As we work our way down the center here, um, we do have an aftermarket radio. They've gone ahead and put an, an aftermarket AM, FM, CD player in here. And then just below that, they've mounted in a little three gauge cluster. Again, these Camaros uh, from the factory didn't come with a lot of gauges. Um, so they went ahead and added in from JEGS also, um, they've added in an oil pressure gauge, a voltmeter, and a water temperature gauge. So again, all white face gauges, very easy to read. Again, that's just gonna help you keep an eye on what's going on out underneath the hood uh, with your motor. Uh, we've replaced the steering wheel in it. We've gone with a new Grant steering wheel. It's kind of like a sports style steering wheel, but it is Grant and it's all new. So the wrap on it, 
all in excellent condition. Again, brand new. We've got front seat belts in this car, um, so that makes it nice for the driver and the passenger in the car. They can buckle up uh, when they're out cruising. We've got factory four-speed center console here as well. Now, as far as the shifter goes, again, we've got a four-speed transmission in this car. Uh, we've got a Muncie shift arm here, and then we've got a B&M T-handle up on top there to help dress it up a little bit. Um, the headliner's in good shape, pulled up nice and tight, all the bows are in it, so it looks good. Dome lights work in the car, um, you got your sun visors both here, and those are in good condition as well. Um, carpeting, all black, very nice. Um, that could either be new or fairly new. Again, the condition of the carpet is excellent as well. So with that, that's pretty much all for the interior.